This dog here is Snoopy. Hey, Snoopy. Snoopy loves to pull on the leash. He's also a little bit dog reactive. In this video, however, we're just going to talk about tips and tricks to stop your dog from pulling on a leash. Now, dogs have what's called an opposition reflex. If I pull against him, see how he's pulling against it? It's going to be a tug of war the whole time. And I see people all the time, they're pulling their dog in position, and the dog is programmed to pull against you. So what you want to do instead is teach the dog that when it gets to the end of the leash, to come back to you. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Now, the very first thing you want to do is when you're teaching your dog to walk with uh, on a loose leash, is I like to assign a side, the right side to the left side. Do you guys have you assigned a side, I'm guessing not? Right side, I prefer. Right side, perfect. So I'm going to put the leash in my right hand, and I have a four foot leash here. I don't, a lot of people have retractables and give the dog too much leash. You can have a lot of leash later on when your dog knows how to behave, but right now it doesn't know how to behave, the more leash is going to cause you more problems. So I want the dogs, uh, come here, buddy. So I'm using treat as a lure. I would like, uh, come here, Snoop. For positioning, this is the position I'd like the dog. I like the dog's shoulders aligned with my hip. That's the good position. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk back and forth and the guardian's just gonna stay here and film it. So as I'm walking, when the dog walks in front of me, I'm gonna stop the minute it walks in front. For dogs, whoever's in front is perceived to be in charge. So as soon as he walks in front, I just stop. I don't tell him anything, I just stop. And then what I'm gonna do is when he gets to the end of the leash and it gets taut, I'm gonna make a kissing sound to crouch down and that's going to try to turn and turn and look at me. When he sees me crouching down, holding a treat, he's going to come back to me. I'm going to pop the treat in his mouth, and then we're going to continue walking. Um, I'm just thinking this is a little bit more narrow than I thought it was. Uh, we'll go ahead and do it here. Um, I'll, I'm going to back. I'm going to walk in the street so you see a little bit more coverage. All right. So he's already walked in front of me. He's going to go this way. We want to walk in front of the camera. There we go. So he's in front. I stop. And he comes back. Once he comes back to me, then we go again. Come on, buddy. I'm not pulling him. I'm just holding the leash once he gets intense. Now, now, if he keeps on sniffing, he's not paying attention, and he's not coming back, then I would just turn and walk the other direction. Now, after a while, I'll show you a way to do a pure, what we call, I call a pirouette. So now I'm going to turn and walk this way. I do the pirouette. I get him to come here. I want him to turn around, face the same direction, and then I give him the treat. And then I would continue walking that way. Right, let's go. Walk. We're gonna turn around in a sec here, buddy. So he'll start coming back faster. So now we're gonna walk this way. See the loose leash? Up. So we have the loose leash for a couple steps, and he came back. See that? That was awesome. He stopped himself because I stopped. Now, a couple other tips, and I'm gonna and uh, for, for going through this. When we're going on a walk, let me get out of direct sun. Uh, let's not do that. Though. When we're going for a walk, we are thinking about the conclusion of our walk. We're thinking of it as a linear or a circular deal. And so, when the dog starts jumping all over the place, we get upset because I only have 22 minutes. And I'm doing this for you, dog. Why are you not cooperating? You're making it harder for me. So, what I would have you do is uh, a warm up where you come out in front of your house and you walk from here to your neighbor's driveway. And as soon as you get there, then you turn around and walk to that neighbor's driveway. So you're gonna walk back and forth here. Instead of thinking about how long I'm walking, we're not going very far. All we're doing is helping them to practice not walking in front of me. And after a while, the dog's like, I've already walked back and forth. There's not a lot of interesting stuff. So now I start paying attention to the human. Now, the next step that I do is uh, to teach a dog to do it. For little dogs like this, I would recommend you get a chucker. Do you know what a chucker is? A chucker is a, uh, it's, it looks kind of like an arm with a grip at the end. It allows you to pick up balls and throw them for the dog without having to pick up. So if you hold it, it looks like this. I would hold it by the handle this way. So the chucker is facing this way and put a treat right here in the little enclosure. That way, when, instead of having to reach down, you can just lower the chucker and the dog takes the treat right out of there. If you can't remember how to figure out how to do one, let me know and I can just help you out with it. So what I'm gonna do, what about is I, this is the seam of my pants. I want the dog to stay with his head here and the rest of his body back here. Everybody? There we go. What about and letting him go pee or poo? Well, there's a dog over there, that's why. So he's staring at the dog. Now you can see he's pointing a line directly at the dog. His tail is stiff. See how he's moving kind of, he's stopping and staring. This is a communication to the other dog. I'm not comfortable with what you're doing. I, you got my full attention. I'm not doing anything else other than watching you. 
and you see how stiff he is, and he wasn't paying attention to anything else. He's looking for the dog. Now, if you run on a walk and your dog gets like that, and he, he's gonna continue, if he barks or lunges the dog, the best thing you can do is increase the distance. Turn around and walk around the other direction. Now, the rules and structure and things we went over in the house should help with this and should help it and listen to you better. But if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't, then what we want to do is uh, practice this. Uh, what we might have to set up a behavior adjustment training where we teach him how to behave around dogs. Now, so the next step, uh, we're shooting a video. Can you hang out a quick sec? That's perfect. Our, that's our meeting that's, uh, perfect. Yeah. All right, good timing. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the treat on the seam of my pants. Let's come back over here, buddy. So when do you let him pee when you're walking? Um, I'll, I'll touch it uh, based on that in a second. Come here, buddy. Hey. So I'm holding it here, which puts it in the heel position. Come back here. Let's try to do that again. I'll give you the treat this time. Snoopy. Now when you do this, if I hold the treat out here, I'm rewarding him for being in front. So make sure you always take, see how he's coming back here. So what I do when I'm doing this, and I'll show you with a couple treats in a row, have like three or four treats in your hand, I'll show you with this. So, one, one. So you're gonna give him a whole bunch of treats. Now, because you saw him chewing a lot, so for these treats I would cut in half, so he's not over chewing. We want to chew it and then ready for you. Chew it, ready for you. Cut him in half. So at first, it's you're, like every step you're giving the treat. Then after a while, you're going two steps and three steps before you release the treat in his mouth. Now the last stage, Snoop, come here, is where I go like this. So, so I pull it away and then I give it back to him. Oh, you dropped that one, buddy. It's right here. So the idea is when I pull it away, it's counterintuitive because we think, well, it's taking it away. Well, eventually, here, buddy, get that paw right there. So I pull it away, he's looking up at me. I give it to him. Now his shape is, is pretty bad with this. Snoop, Snoopy. If you saw there, he was looking up at me. Now I'm accelerating the process for this teaching video so that the guardian can go through this. I want the guardian to practice at first, just going back and forth until every time he gets to the end of the leash, he automatically turns and comes back to you and gets that treat. Once he's ready for that, that's when I want to start holding it here. And again, I'm just going to walk from here to there and back. So, oh, there's a squirrel over there, that's what he's looking at. And we're gonna release the tree each step at first. And when we get to the point where we can go two steps, then once, when, when he's, uh, after the second step, I'm gonna pull it here and then immediately give him the treat and I'm gonna say the word heel. Then I'm gonna pull out another treat and then hold it here, take two more steps and then hold it. Eventually we're gonna be walking, holding it up here for one step, two step, three steps. And then dog's walking next to you, looking up at you. Is that treat about to come? When's that treat coming? And so instead of him paying attention to everything else, he's paying attention to you. And what's the word heel? When do you, how do you use heel? You I use heel when the dog is in the correct position and I deliver the reinforcer. So a lot of people, the dog gets out in front. Come here, sit me. The dog gets in front and people like jerk the leash back and say heel. What they mean to say is go back in the heel. What the dog hears is heel means the human's gonna try to break my neck. So when he's walking in the place we want, that's when we gently say heel and reinforce the positive. Yeah, because exactly. that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling and saying heel. Exactly. Heel. That's the worst that's, thing to that's do. Exactly that's making him anti-heel. Okay. Now, the guardian asked about uh, letting him potty. Just because the dog pees in the house or uh, outside doesn't mean he has to pee everywhere outside. And the more that he marks, the more he's going to claim territory. So I let them pee before the walk and at the end of the walk, but not on the walk. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, um, uh, let me see. Uh, well, Snoopy, ready? I didn't even have a treat in my hand. I lured him around with that. So these are some, let me pick you up, buddy, so we can get you on the camera. These are some tips and tricks that you can use to stop your dog from pulling and learn to walk with a loose leash.